Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows differentiation between the gallbladder stones and polyps as both the conditions are seen simultaneously in a patient. You can see this is gallbladder. These are the multiple stones seen in the neck of the gallbladder. And multiple gallbladder polyps are seen as you will see later on in this video along the interior and posterior both walls of the gallbladder. Now you can see the multiple stones collectively measuring about 26.8 mm. Now you can see the multiple gallbladder polyps seen along the walls of the gallbladder. Usually these, these stones, yeah, as you can say, have strong posterior accosting shadowing, but the polyps have no shadowing and with the posture of the patient as you can shift the patient to from the spine position to the side on the gallbladder polyps will not go down to the towards the neck of the gallbladder they will stay along the walls of the gallbladder as they are attached with the gallbladder wall with the thick stalk which is usually not visible or poorly visible stalk is poorly visible so you can see the gallbladder polyps as well as the gallbladder stones in this patient. Most people with cholelithiasis have no symptoms at all. A minority of patients with gallstones develop symptoms, severe abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, and complete blockage to the bile duct that may pose a risk to infection. Cholelithiasis can lead to cholecystitis, inflammation of the gallbladder. Again, you can see the stones as well as the gallbladder stones, gallbladder polyps. Now, the causes of the gallbladder stones, gallstones may form if the bile contains too much of cholesterol, too much bilirubin or not enough bile salts. Researchers do not fully understand why these changes in bile occur. Gallstones may form in the gallbladder that doesn't complete uh, empty completely or, of, or uh, often enough. If the gallstones are not causing symptoms, there is no need to have surgery. You only need if a gallstone goes into or blocks one of the bile ducts. Now again, you can see the stones and the polyps. Now the thickening of the gallbladder wall is relatively frequent finding at diagnostic imaging studies. Historically, a thick wall gallbladder has been regarded as a proof of primary gallbladder disease and it is well known hallmark feature of acute cholecystitis. The normal thickening of the gallbladder wall is usually less than 3 mm provided that the patient has been fasting for 8 to 12 hours. Visualization of the normal gallbladder should be nearly complete. Non-visualization of the gallbladder is a pathological finding in 96% of cases involving truly fasting patients. So the gallbladder thick thickening may be caused by repeated attack of acute, acute cholecystitis. Now as far as the symptoms of the gallbladder polyps, the gallbladder polyps are elevation of the gallbladder wall that project into the lumen. They are commonly detected by on ultrasound scans of the abdomen with a prevalence estimated between 0.3 to 9.5 percent. They may be found following analysis of the gallbladder specimen following cholecystectomy. A gallbladder polyps is a growth that bulges from the surface of the inner gallbladder wall. Some polyps are formed by cholesterol deposits in the gallbladder wall. Others may be small tumors, either cancerous or not cancerous, and may be caused by inflammation. Now, again, you can see the you can see some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.